Unpacking emotions. This is infuriating. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the beautiful intricacies of the English language. Today, we're going to unravel the layers behind a commonly used expression. This is infuriating. It's a phrase that packs a punch and conveys a strong emotion. But what does it really mean? And how can you use it correctly? Let's find out together. The word infuriating comes from the verb infuriate, which means to make someone extremely angry or impatient. When something is described as infuriating, it doesn't just annoy or bother the person. It drives them to a level of anger that is hard to contain. It's a strong word that should be used in situations where the emotion of anger is intense, not just slightly annoyed or mildly upset. When we break down the phrase, this is infuriating, we're pointing to a specific situation, thing, or behavior as the source of intense anger. This refers to the cause of the emotion and is infuriating describes the effect it has on someone's emotional state. It's a straightforward structure but conveys a powerful message about how the speaker feels. To better understand how to use, this is infuriating. Let's look at some examples. After waiting for hours due to a delayed flight, this is infuriating. I've wasted the entire day just sitting here. When encountering unfair treatment at work, this is infuriating. I work just as hard, yet I'm not acknowledged like my colleagues. Dealing with a malfunctioning device repeatedly, this is infuriating. This phone keeps freezing, and I've had it repaired twice already. In each of these scenarios, the phrase is used to express a deep frustration and anger towards a situation that is perceived as unjust, unreasonable, or overly problematic. It's important to understand the appropriate contexts for using, this is infuriating. Since it expresses a high level of anger, it's best used in situations where such a strong emotional response is justified. Using it for minor annoyances may come off as overly dramatic or could miscommunicate the intensity of your feelings. And that wraps up our exploration of the phrase, this is infuriating. We hope this video has shed light on its meaning, structure, and appropriate usage. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about expressing our emotions and experiences accurately. So, the next time you find yourself in a situation that deeply frustrates you, you'll know exactly how to articulate your feelings. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in our next video.